Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you both how to connect Google Drive with Schoology and how to disconnect the account. So if you're looking for how to connect it, we'll talk about that first. If you're looking for how to disconnect it, uh, flash forward to approximately this point in the video and I'll talk about it there. Um, but so Google Drive is a great place to store your files and create some files, work on files, and you can certainly uh, add those files to Schoology by sharing links or posting links. But another way to do it is to add the Google app. To do that, from the home screen of Schoology, click on the left-hand side, App Center. Here's where you'll find all the different apps that you can connect with Schoology, and usually Google Drive is at the top. If it's not, just search down a little bit and I'm sure you'll find it. Click on the name Google Drive, and that'll bring you to this install window. Click the blue button that says Install Resource App, and that will bring up this pop-up window. And what's important to make sure is that this little checkbox is checked. Uh, otherwise, it's not gonna do what you would expect it to. So make sure that box is checked and click Install. Uh, at that point, you'll get the little green window that says your changes have been saved and you now have the app. We just have to sign into the app. So where does Google Drive exist in Schoology? Under Resources and then Apps. So you'll see here, I have Google Drive, along with all of the other apps that I've added, but we're looking at Google Drive in this case. So simply click on Google Drive if necessary, and it's gonna ask you to connect. You only have to do this once. Once you connect it, you're good to go. So hit the blue button to connect, and you may or may not need to sign into your Google account at this point. Depends if you've connected it already or not. So you may need to enter your email address and password and all that good stuff, or simply say allow. And you'll see now, here are all of my Google Drive files. So now let's talk about how to disconnect this. And you may wonder why would I need to disconnect it. We've had cases where uh, someone logged in as mistakenly as someone else into Google Drive with Schoology and simply uninstalling the app and reinstalling it doesn't take care of it. You have to actually sign out. So to sign out, again, under Resources, Apps, and then Google Drive, you want to click on Options and choose Account Settings. From here, you'll be given the option to log out. And then you can log out and sign in as a different account if that's what you'd like to do. So there you have it. That's how to install and uninstall or sign out of the Google Drive app and Schoology. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email either Taylor or myself. And as always, thank you for watching.